I don't like this. I don't. Scratch that. This is awesome. I love this. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from mine, didn't you? You little thief. Where's my knitting needle? Ah. Uh a ball of yarn. Oh. <laughs> Did I stab your little friends with it? What knitting needle are you? Are you the dead nurse I saw at Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Is that this? Seven. Arg, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days? Ha! Huh. I've been waiting for weeks now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm. I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Ahem. Excuse me, everyone. But is there a way to make things go faster? Yes. Become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is colorblind. I have a broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of a mirror. What? Hello, everyone. I'm Generic Waffle. Welcome back to Franbo. I love... So, okay. I want to put in the words exactly how I feel about this current level right now. I love the music. The music is very juxtapositional compared to everything else. I love this waiting room of the dam. It's very funny, and I love all of these just sort of like casual entities of hell just sort of chilling in the afterlife waiting room. Everything about this game has consistently surprised me in a good way. And by bringing it back and taming it down in a very silly way, I think that that's good with the way that they did that. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Do you feel pain? Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I do that? How can I make the question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Impossible to talk with you. Ah, uh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make Make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? It helps to understand? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Who sees all then? Oh, I should talk to... Can I talk to the eye? It's gotta be the eye. Hmm. But who is the one that sees all then? Do you mean Mabuka? No. Mabuka knows everything. That's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. <laughs> huh. All right. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, and that's why they have the little ladder here. I hope you find your cat and friends soon. I can still see them in the cage. Okay, maybe I'm lost. Perhaps I might, mayhaps be lost. Oh, hey, I didn't expect that to work. I don't know why this would happen. I guess we exchange our tickets because apparently that's a thing that I can do. Exchange the tickets. Would it be possible if we exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know the illnesses I have. What if I find out the illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you get back. Okay, do I talk to Akula right now? Well, so that's dumb. I don't think I should have to offer the trade. So the problem that I have with this is that you have to do it in a specific order. And if you don't, you get stuck. And I feel like the logical jump of trading for a higher number. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Excuse me. I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do you for? Patient trouble. Can you tell me the illnesses the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm. Let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I can see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need to stick it. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. Now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Thurston and be happy. Oh, that's a thumbnail. Mmm, lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Hey, buddy. Here's a, here's a present for you. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Ha ha ha. How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised you'd give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right, here you go. Ticket two. So now I have two and seven. And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Me too. Bye. Hey! Oh! Oh!
Wouldn't you know it? It most definitely is my turn yet, you coward. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Uh, well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we do not help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. A lost kitty, don't worry. That's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Uh-huh, says the skeleton nurse who's talking to me with blood on the counter in this hell, I guess. But how do I get an appointment, then? Just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Did that say, are you insane? Call us? Because that's funny. But why must I call you? Why can't I just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly because I'm waiting for you to call me. All right, I'll go and make a call then. So now I use the phone. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting the uh, ball rolling, so to speak. Zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. A ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Oh, hello, yes, you told me to call and make an appointment. Mm, it's Fran Bo. Uh, hum, I'm available now. No, no, uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. Uh, I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye, yes. Bye. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Franbo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like there's a lot of horror elements, but the, the creators did like a very fun take on them. And I really, really enjoy that. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, then. Thank you. So it be. So it begins. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Uh, who? Yes, 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 what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Ooh, the music stopped. No, I like the fun lounge waiting music. No, not the rumble. Oh, dang. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remmer, aren't you? I haven't gotten a chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remmer, the Black Terror, Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do with Dr. Deer? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. Maybe the cat actually did it and Remmer was there to try to stop. Anyway, if that's true, then the cat was the culprit the whole time, and I called that during chapter one. Let's go. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Oh dear. 